my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome. In this tutorial you will learn how to move and copy location prisms. Let's start with a copy. So you should already have location prisms in your model. This can be prisms modeled inside SimpleBIM or imported from a file. It doesn't matter. Before you start the actual copying or moving, you need to select one or more prisms from the 3D. If you try to start the operation when nothing is selected, you get this prompt. Click OK, select a prism and try again. Follow the instructions in the status bar. Where you want to copy the prism is defined by two points. Most of the time you want to select the start point from the prism itself. Let's say in this case you know that you want to copy the prism next to the one you already have. So select this lower corner here as your starting point and then this other lower corner as your end point. See how it works? Let's make another one. Now select both of the prisms, for example with the control click, start copy. This time select the upper corner and go to the other direction. Now select all the four prisms, for example with the area selection. Start copy, select the lower corner again. Now go upwards and select the upper corner. What do you know? You already have a nice matrix of prisms ready. Once you have copied a prism or prisms, the copy can of course be further modified. You can change its identifiers, simply select the prism, find the location property from the properties palette and change the value. Let's say these prisms are section A. I select the prisms and change the value. And these are section B. And these in the first floor and these in the second floor. You get the point. Note that you can also modify the prism's geometry with the help of the other prisms or even building elements. Please check the other tutorials about the modifying to learn more. Copying is actually automated combination of two operations, copying and moving the copied object. So now that you know how to use the copy function, moving is easy. Select a prism, start move from the ribbon, Follow the instructions in the status bar. Note that the points you pick doesn't have to be from the prism itself. This is true both for the move and copy function. The move is relative. It's done based on the difference between the two selected points. So instead of picking the points from the prism itself, you could select even the first point somewhere else. Let's say you want to move the prism the same distance and to the same direction as if you were moving this point from here to here. Click the points. The prism is moved. Can you see how it works? Few final notes. Note that if you select the same point twice during the copying, the prism is copied to its original place. Afterwards, you probably want to move it to somewhere else. The move operation can be undone. If you click undo now, then the prism you moved last is moved back to its original place. That's nice. Note however that the copying cannot yet be undone. So if you accidentally create an extra copy you don't need, you should simply drag and drop it to the excluded bucket. Finally, the moving is done based on the points you pick. Sometimes you don't have the right points available. If you want to do a more precise move, then you need to use the other move and rotation tools available in SimpleBIM. Please check the other tutorials about them. For now, thank you for watching. See you next time.